United was founded in 1924. That was almost 90 years ago. So when I signed for Hayford, it was, it was quite a good signing for me. And uh, promotion into the league, getting into the league was something. I got the giant killers, third division championship side, and ups and downs promotions, relegations, cried a bit, laughed a bit. It's been a roller coaster, really, but it's been a wonderful journey. Hereford shot to fame in 1972 with a dramatic 2 1 win over top flight Newcastle United. It was a massive game for us, a big, big game. I think there was about 18, 18 17, 18,000 people here at Edgar Street that day. And uh, we'd, we'd, the, when the cup draw was made, we had to play Newcastle at Newcastle, where we drew 2 2 and brought them back to Edgar Street for the replay and beat them 2 1. You join us here at Edgar Street to watch Hereford United of the Southern League versus the mighty Newcastle United of Division 1. I'm your commentator, John Watson. Now Trude has gone down for Newcastle. Radford again. Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Radford! Radford, the scorer! Ronnie Radford! It was a lovely day, it was a super day, the support, everybody, all Hereford, all Herefordshire, all the county, and they supported us, but how did I feel personally? Felt very, very good, it was a very big moment for me being the player manager, and uh, it was a privilege to be involved in that, on that day, and the atmosphere was absolutely tremendous, it was wonderful. The support we had at Hereford United, through the Giant Killers, the supporters have been like a 12th man to us. They've been fantastic. Even when I was playing before the Giant Killers, the Hereford United supporters have been magnificent. At the end of the 2012 season, Hereford finished in sixth place, just one short of the playoff positions. But things are not quite good off the field. Nuh -uh. We've done a little bit of a rough time now. Support has dropped off because you're looking for um, uh, some results. You need It's a result game, isn't it? Well, you needed results to get the supporters in. But we've got a loyal band of supporters. You're guaranteed that they're going to come thick and thin to support Heritage United. Last season, the average attendance was 1,752. This led to the football club being short of money. It won't, won't happen quickly. It'll take, it'll, it's going to take a little bit of time, but... Um, Let's just hope that we can, I'm sure with, with all the help from everybody around about and supporters, that the club will continue. And I'm sure we will. I feel confident as a director myself that we will do that, but it's going to take a lot of hard work. One would like to think that, yeah, the club is flourishing. Maybe we, 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 we've, we've got back in. Hopefully we've got back into the league by then. The finances have sorted themselves out and, and uh, or been sorted out and that we possibly may be up a league or two, maybe may have got a promotion or two. One doesn't know, but um, one has to be optimistic and obviously look to the future. Everybody would have liked to have worked for Hereford United. You know, so I had the best of both worlds, really. I worked for them and I played for them and it's part of my life and uh, always will be. A great football player.